Hey, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. Today, we're going to be talking about how to set up the David Tech ABC Smarter Money Strategy in TradeLab. TradeLab is a free automated trading platform that allows you to create your own strategies or easily hook up many popular strategies, such as strategies from David Tech. David recently updated the ABC Smarter Money Strategy and made a few changes to how the indicator works. So we had to change the way that we set it up for TradeLab. I want to go through how we set it up. So if we go over to Community Strategies, we can see that we have three ABC Smarter Money uh, templates at the top. So the first one over on the right is a vanilla template, and this is just the indicator by itself. Uh, it does include the dynamic take and stop that David added. So you'll be having your uh, take profit and stop loss set by what David says, okay? Um, and you can configure that in David's settings. So you can change it and he'll send it over, okay? Uh, we also created two modifications to this template and made it easy for you to just copy these. Uh, this is an example of how you can add things to different strategies, even if you didn't build it yourself. So if you use a David uh, strategy and you want to add something to it, you can do that. So the second one here is a risk ratio template. This is a extra condition on the template that checks the take profit and stop loss that David sends and uh, creates the risk ratio. It calculates the risk ratio. And once it has that, it checks to see if that risk ratio is over a certain amount. You can set that amount. The default is two, okay? The last one here is a break-even modification. So what this does is it takes the uh, stop loss that David sends and it creates a regular stop loss. But then when our take profit is hit, it takes out 50% and then starts moving the stop loss up. Um, first, it breaks even, so it goes to the entry point, and then it turns on trailing so that the stop loss keeps trailing upwards uh, for a long or down, downwards for a short, right? So let's take a look at how to set up the vanilla strategy and then we'll take a look at the other ones. If you click on the vanilla and then click copy, hit yes. Here we can see our ABC template. If I hit edit, it'll load up the strategy setup screen. In here, we'll pop up the strategy setup. It says we need to follow three steps to set up our alerts. We'll click do it now. It'll ask us to set up our exchange and select our symbol. If you haven't set up an exchange, you can do that in the setting screen. If you click uh, continue, you'll see the three alert instructions. So if we click on the first one and we follow the instructions, it says open the indicator settings in trading view and scroll down to find the alert. So if we go to trading view, first we need to add our smarter money indicator. You can do that in the indicators under invite only scripts. If you can't find it, you need to add it through David Tech. You can visit his Discord for assistance on that. And you can click on the settings button right here to open up his settings. If we scroll all the way down, we'll find two input boxes for the ABC, uh, an entry long and an entry short. If we go back to Trade Lab, we'll see that we have a message down here. If we click on that and we go back, if we clear out the entry long, clear everything in that box and paste this, we'll now have our setup for Trade Lab. And now we can press back on Trade Lab and go to entry short. And then we'll click on the message here and copy it, clear this out and paste it into the API entry short, okay? Alert frequency is up to you. Uh, you can do once per bar or once per close. Uh, it doesn't matter to me that you can experiment with that. Um, you can set up your take profit however you want. You can use Fibonacci. Uh, wh whatever David sends will be off of what you send in here. So no need to set up TPSL in Trade Lab. You can come in here and set it up. Okay, press OK, and we'll go back to Trade Lab. We'll press back, and then we'll see the Trading View alert. This is the last step. So we need to create a, an alert in Trading View. 
So if we go to trading view, there's a alert plus at the top here. If we click on that, uh, first it says that we need to select the AV strategy and make sure that we select alert function calls. So if we go to the condition, we'll select ABC smarter money and make sure that any alert function call is selected. Okay, now we'll check the webhook URL if we haven't already. We'll go back, select our webhook URL in Trade Lab, and we'll paste that into TradingView. And this is all we need for that. There is no message. Uh, it'll take care of it automatically from what we already set up. If we just hit Create, now we're all ready to go. So if we go back to Trade Lab, if we press Back, our alerts are all set up. Press All Done. And now we just need to set up our trade. So if you look at trade settings right here, we can make sure that we have selected our symbol. You should have already done that. And then we can make sure that we set up our amount. So if you type in 10 right here for USD, that would give you an estimated margin size of $10. Okay. And uh, with BTC at the reference price of 22,000, that would be 0 0.002 BTC with a leverage of five times. So at that point, our order size would be about $50, right? Uh, giving us 0 0.002 BTC. If I set this to one, you can see that our trade amount is 10 and our leverage is one, and that's less than 0 000 uh, BTC, which is the minimum for BTC. So you won't be able to trade. So you'll need to up your uh, trade amount by say 40, and that'll give us uh, two BTC. Uh, you can also do as low as 30, I think, and that'll give you one BTC, somewhere around $30, okay? Um, when this fills, it won't fill for exactly $30. It'll fill for one BTC, 001 BTC, uh, so whatever that comes out to be, maybe $22, you'll have $8 over, um, and we won't place that. It'll just be for $22, right? Um, and uh, you'll keep the rest of the $8 in your wallet. So that's how that works. Um, you can also select amount, you, uh, amount type percentage. And if amount type is percentage, then we're using our uh, wallet to decide how much we trade. So if I do 5% of my wallet, that would be $41. And that gives me, uh, once again, 0 0.002 BTC, okay? Um, the cool thing about trading with a percentage is that this will compound your profit and loss, right? So as you uh, win or lose uh, on every trade, your balance changes and that 5% changes. So as we win more, our estimated margin size would go up, right? Uh, the other thing we can do is set up our order type. Uh, by default, it's market. You can set this to limit. If you do set it to limit, you need to uh, take a look at the time and force. That's either uh, good to close, immediate or cancel, fill or kill, or post only. If you want an explanation on what these do, you can click on this and uh, read all the information. Most people select good to close. That'll keep it open. Um, but the problem is if it's open, it'll stay open until we close it. Um, good to cancel, good until we cancel it, right? So if we click um, advanced settings, we can see that uh, limit timeout is down here. And this is how we would cancel a good to cancel limit order after it's been open for a certain amount of time. So this is uh, hours, minutes, and seconds, okay? So if I say one in the middle box, that's one minute. So this order will stay open for one minute. And if I don't fill it within one minute, it will automatically cancel and go back to looking for entry. Okay. So that's how that works. Once again, uh, our TPSL is set up by David. So no need to go in there. Uh, your rules should be good to go. Um, and that's it. So if we just hit save and exit, we can now see that the ABC is looking for entry and it's ready to go. Okay, we do have some other videos showing how to test, uh, send test alerts to make sure that your strategy is set up correctly. Uh, I recommend going to watch the David setup video or the troubleshooting video. Uh, that'll show you how to do that. 
So let's go ahead and cover the other ones real quickly. If we go to community strategies, we can see uh, we have the risk ratio. So if we click on risk ratio and copy that, if we hit yes, we can see that we have the risk ratio template here now. If I click edit, All right, it'll ask me to set it up again. If I click do that now, you'll notice that we have one extra uh, box here, one extra field, and this is the required risk ratio. Okay, so we're only going to open a trade if the risk ratio is above whatever you set right here. So the default is two. Risk ratio obviously is how much we risk with our stop loss versus our take profit. So for the example of two, that means our take profit has to be twice as high as our stop loss is low for a long, right? Um, so I can click continue and it'll show me the same alert instructions, set it up the same way. Uh, I'm gonna click skip here. Uh, the order setup goes the same. You can set up your amount type, your leverage, set up your uh, timeout if you want. Also, this limit offset is for if you want to pad your limit. So if you are doing a limit order and you want to uh, increase the limit by a certain amount, you can either do that by a percentage or by a USD relative amount. OK, so if we uh, click save and exit, this one will also be set up and it's ready to go looking for entry. Um, and then we'll click on community strategies one more time and we'll look at the break even. We'll click copy, hit yes, okay, and we'll hit edit here. So the break even sets up the exact same way. Uh, there's no extra steps. We'll click do it now. Same thing here. Uh, go through the setup, and that's it. Now, one thing I wanted to note about break even is how I wrote this. So with the break even, we have an exit rule. It's looking to see if our take line is hit. If our take line is hit, then we want to uh, set our stop to our entry price, and then we want to set our stop line to trailing, right? So if you take a moment and look at this and read through, it's a pretty simple rule, and that's how we're doing our break even, okay? All right, for more information, you can always contact us on our Discord. To get there, you can go down to the bottom help menu. If you type in Discord down here, there's also a link on our website, uh, our front page, but you can click right here and there's a link inside the Discord right there. And then you, if you don't want to join Discord, you can always uh, email me by creating a support ticket. That'll send me an email and I'll email you back. Okay. I appreciate everybody watching. If you found this content helpful, please leave a like, subscribe for more updates, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one.